Hey y'all, what's up? It's Meezy, the coolest, hottest, sweetest, nicest, most amazing, smartest, machine learning, AI, data science, data science? <laughs> Texas jumped out. Um, anyways, I'm a software engineer and on this channel we talk about technology and software engineering and you know, just all things computers and code. Um, welcome back. Uh, welcome it's if it's your first time I cannot talk today but you know what no edits I love myself we're gonna keep going all right so today I am going to be doing a Python check-in with y'all if you haven't seen my first video called learn Python with me um, let me fill you in but also go watch it but a quick filler um, I started this 30-day Python journey for myself because I really want to start actually doing machine learning and data science stuff and so that requires me to know Python but I haven't used Python in about five years um actually longer I haven't used Python since my freshman year of college and I've been out of college for five years so it's been a long time since I've touched Python and so I'm relearning it um I made this whole uh this whole guide on how to relearn and what tools that I'm using to relearn uh, the language and I've shared that with y'all. All the links to that will be in the description if you want to hop in with us. We also have a discord where we can all talk to each other and you know cry and scream when we get something right and our code compiles and you know all of that stuff. So please join us on this journey if you are just wanting to learn Python in general, if you too want to be a machine learning engineer or a data scientist, or if you're just interested, you just like to do difficult things to prove that you can do difficult things. Um, all that being said, let's hop into the check-in. Yeah. So it is day eight while I'm filming this, in day nine we all be watching this video of the python journey i will be honest with y'all in the first <laughs> the first five days i was solid i was golden and then the weekend hit and i was outside okay i was doing it all um you know i'm vaxxed up so i'm happy to be outside and see my friends again so i fell off but by the time you see this video i should be caught up um so that is how it is going as far as like the actual journey. So let's actually go to the the section so I can tell y'all what I've done so far. So I've read from the Learn Python the Hard Way book. I have done exercises one through five. And then uh, from the boot camp Zero to Hero Python course on Udemy, I have done sections one through six. Um, and so that's just at the time of recording, but by the time y'all see this, I will have completed uh, exercises six through 15 and section seven and eight of the Udemy course. That is a lot for me to catch up on, but that's what happens when you play hard. You work hard, you play hard, and it's hard to balance them. And you know, th this is the balance, right? I, I played this weekend, so now I'm working uh, even harder during the week. Um, and so the things that I have learned so far, so let's talk about that. In this course, um, the biggest thing that I focused on in the past week has definitely been data structures. And that's kind of, that was the biggest thing for me uh, in Python. It's not so much like actually knowing how to code in the language, it was the syntax. Um, because syntax between languages is what really gets you once you start learning a lot of different programming languages. Um, and then some languages have data types that other languages don't, or some languages have data types um, and it's just called a different name in uh, different, different languages. Um, so for example, a list and an array is the same thing in python you call it a list in javascript you would call it an array um same exact thing same energy just different names and that's something that i didn't remember um so just little things like that is what i've been going through um string comparison i mean not string comparison but comparison operators in general they work the same throughout python so that was great uh let's see numbers are the same string slicing and indexing has been interesting in general that's kind of just literally remembering like what functions work on 
what what languages um but you know i have not encountered much string manipulation in real life so i don't sweat it um but i will say the one thing that's given me a little bit of grief is the white space requirement in python um i i I mostly coded in JavaScript before I started at my current role at Microsoft and you didn't need semicolons there either but also white space didn't matter. JavaScript is truly a lawless land um, but in Python you don't need the semicolons. You don't need anything first of all you just just a colon and type out your code so that threw me for a loop but two the white space is just really hard to get um, and I'm always eyeballing it so I might have to rebrand my code like five times to make sure because I'm getting errors because my white space is not correct. So that's been kind of annoying. Um, tuples was an interesting thing to look at. Um, please don't play. It's going to start making noise. All right. Um, tuples was interesting for me. Um, Again, I'll show that more in like the code section of my videos. Um, but as far as I know, okay. oops, as far as I know, there's no concept of a tuple in JavaScript. But again, I've forgotten. It's been over a year now since I've had to code in JavaScript daily. So here we are. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so that's everything that I've touched on. I just realized I actually have not completed section six of yeah I actually have not completed section six so I have a lot to catch up on y'all because section six is methods and functions but I know I can do it it will be fine um so something I wanted to talk to y'all about because it's the first week and I'm kind of just getting used to like actually having to sit down and do two to three hours of work after work and after YouTube and all my social media stuff goes up uh is how I've been managing my time and Really, it's just the the me wanting to actually learn this that's getting me through because there have been nights where I was just sitting on my couch watching YouTube and I'm like, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then it's like midnight and I'm like, oh, I should just go to bed and do it tomorrow. And I'm like, nope, we're going to get up, we're going to do it, and it's going to be great. And uh, it, it's just really me knowing that this is going to get me to that machine learning engineer or data scientist position that I want that's really fueling me to get through it um and i do not take breaks when i'm doing this stuff like i might take a, a break to go to the bathroom and get some water but as far as like a pomodoro okay spend 45 minutes working and then 15 doing whatever you want no my brain has to refocus too much and it gets me way too off track so i don't do that um i just simply work through it and uh you know burn work until i'm burned out for the night Okay, so like I said, I finished, now I know sections one through five of the course and I finished a good amount of exercises from the book. Um, something I've realized is that, so the name of the book is Learn Python the Hard Way. And so I expected those exercises to be a little more challenging, but as I started reading the book and actually getting into it, I realized what they meant by the hard way was by actually doing the work. So a lot of books, you know, you just read about a data type or a data structure or an if statement, and then it asks you a couple questions and that's how you check your knowledge. Versus with learning Python the hard way, you are just from exercise zero, you are writing code. So that's the hard way and I find that it's not super necessary to do that and the course as well but as I said in the last video I'm kind of using it to supplement so if I'm doing stuff in the Jupyter Notebook um, and it, I go and read the book and they're asking me to do the same thing I'm like okay I'm good for the day and I just will do some pseudocode or literally just in my mind be like this is how I do that and then if I know it's right then I go with it if I don't know it's right and I will type it out and make sure it works. Um, and then as far as the course goes, this is how I do it. So first I'll take the quiz for that section to see if I remember a lot from that concept or not. If the quiz throws me for a loop, then I will go to the Jupyter Notebook and I will read 
all the the text in the jupiter notebook that i need to know to get the quiz right if the jupiter notebook still isn't making sense to me then i'll go to the course video and watch that um surprisingly this is not saving me a lot of time i guess i'm a slow reader it saves me time when i can do the quiz and just go to the next section but if i read that entire jupiter notebook it takes me about the same amount of time as it would to watch the video but since i am familiar with the concepts i don't love to watch the videos because I think he talks normal speed but just, it's just slow for me and there's just a couple things that I might be missing on a topic um then that makes me not want to watch the whole video so I like doing the Jupiter notebook especially because I can actually run the code as I'm reading about what's supposed to happen um so that is how I am structuring uh my studying and how I'm keeping up with it and all of that Okay, now for the fun part of the video, I'm going to ask y'all 10 questions so that we can all reinforce what we've learned so far. Hey, stop. So we can all reinforce what we've learned so far. Um, and just a quick tidbit. So when I was in college, I did a lot of passive study methods and I didn't realize this back in the day. I've only learned this recently because I've been researching, studying uh, method. My camera died, but I've been studying different, um, <laughs> I've been researching different study methodologies so that this time around I can be a lot better at studying. Um, and so I'm practicing what's called active recall. And long story short, instead of reading things, you quiz yourself or you do something that actually makes your brain think um and not just you know try to memorize information through reading so i'm going to ask y'all 10 questions and you can pause the video so that you can give yourself time to answer and then i will leave the answers to the questions in the description box down below I got a 10 out of 10 um, because I wrote the quiz. <laughs> uh, and so at this point, I would typically show you my projects that I've built so far, but I cannot show you because I have not finished them yet because I fell off uh, last week. And so instead, I will make another video to show you all, all of that and uh that is just the end of my python check-in so far i hope you guys are having a great time i hope you guys are learning a lot make sure you join the discord so that you can join the community of people who are also learning along with us and using the same tools and resources make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe and make sure you leave comments if you are using any other resources or just with tips tricks encouragement um I'm wearing another shirt, y'all. Um, this one was a prototype and it doesn't look exactly how I want it to, but I love these shirts and we'll be releasing them soon. So let me know in the comments if you would buy a shirt. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.